Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jasper here, and today I'm back with a crazier story. This one is more dramatic than the last one, and I was much more scared of consequences happening to me than just leaking some boring document. Because this one was not in my school, it was out in the real world, so it would land me in real world trouble if I did get caught. But will I actually get in trouble, or nah? Let's see. It all started in my junior year of high school, near the start of our summer break. So obviously, you know, it's about time we finally get to goof off. So we're chilling in the mall near my school, which is also where the fight that happened freshman year ha happened. But that's a mini story for later. Anyways, we're eating food, just chilling, pretty normal, you know. But then we get bored. And what happens when we get bored? We do something stupid or, you know, that's how it usually goes. It's just how it happens. And for context, the shopping mall that I'm talking about, it's also part of this larger development. There's a ton of offices around it, so on top of students obviously being in the mall, you've also got all these white-collar people working there and going into the mall to get food or shop or whatever. And so we see this group of people. There's three of them. They're dressed up. There's a woman and then there's a dude, and they're pretty... They're stunning, right? The, the women for me, but they've got the whole fit down, of course. They're all dripped out in the corpo drip, but they're also just easy on the eyes. They're just stunners, you know? Just forget that literally all of us are high school students, and these were obviously successful people with real jobs out in the real world. So we see them walk off, and we start making jokes along the lines of, we should have gotten their numbers, you know, you should have gotten the dude's number, you should have gotten the girl's number. That type of thing. But we're hella bored, so I put out this dumb, crazy idea up there that we should find them. So we had seen the building they went into, one of the which office building we had went into because there were multiples. And so, yeah, we have a bingo jackpot, except for one thing. We had seen them go into the building, but the way that I had gone into the building, it was reception. And there was a person there, because of course there was, a security person. So we're not going to get in, obviously, right? But, you know, we're bored. So we go sit at one of the tables outside in the plaza. And then I do a circle around of the building. And I don't really find anything. But then uh, I go back into the mall just trying to find anything. And I realize that there's an elevator that goes from the mall into the office building. So, you know, I go back. I, t I tell everyone. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going in. and Because, you know, I'm the one stupid enough to do this stuff. So I go in, and so I get into the elevator, go up to, like, a random floor, and then I realize there's so many floors, and then I just peek out one of the floors, and it's just, you know, a large office, and I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm out I'm, I'm out of my league here. I've gone out of my head with this one. So I'm like, never mind, you know, I should just go back before anyone realizes what I'm doing. So I click the but button for to get back to the mall, but instead of taking me back to the mall, it takes me to the office lobby. And why it took me back there, I guess the the security person had a hunch that I was in there, so they had pressed the button. And so when I get out, the person is right there. And then I'm like, oh crap, what am I going to do? So... Obviously, I start making a tactical retreat because this is for the better. I got to get out of there. But also, like, I just trying to slowly leave. I'm like, sorry, sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. But then this person is like, oh, I've seen you kids. You know, you're those school kids. You were outside. Oh, my God, I spotted you. Like, congrats, want a cookie? Either way, I don't care much. I'm like, oh, crap, she's actually going to do something. So I run. <laughs> And so while I'm running, I hear her behind me get on her walkie-talkie. And then she's like, there's some kids from the school up here. Code 84, I am at blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I, my entire group bolts. It's time for us to go. We have overstayed our welcome. We were not about to let this rent cop tell anyone anything or catch any of us. Luckily, there is like a train station nearby, so we all rush in there. We ran off, and I lay low for a bit. We still have two weeks before school ends, so usually what I do is the mall is like a really convenient way to get to the school faster, but you know, I'm just paranoid, so I do the entire this entire walk around the mall, which adds like five minutes to the walk, <laughs> but I'm like, you know, I'm not about to get into trouble with this because the mall had like collaborated pretty closely with my school on like tell them what's going on because uh, you know stupid stuff happens and the school really wants to know and the mall wants that to not happen so i'm like 
I I'm just waiting for that call, you know, for that call to come in where they're like, oh, you did this, you know, come in and we'll do something about this. But somehow, someday, nothing ever happened, and I live to tell the tale. So before this video ends, I want to say to that runner cop right now, cry about it. Slow on can't even chase us without asking for backup. She just stands there. She can't run. Anyways, like and subscribe or she will find you.